G'day guys, Steve Morgan here for Fishing Monthly Magazines and I am on the diametric opposite side of the world. I'm in uh, Wisconsin at the moment with Jason Ekman. Jason is the, uh, he's the global product manager for Everenroot, so he's about as high as you can go up the tree. And Jason, we've got some pretty exciting new product you've launched here. This is, uh, we're familiar in Australia with the G2 technology. That's right. Um, you're dropping it down in horsepower sizes, so tell us about it. That's right, we're introducing this weekend to the world the Evinrude e Tech G2 150, 150 HO, 175 and 200 horsepower engines. So this is uh, bringing a lot of the technology that we introduced two years ago in the G2 200 to 300 horsepower class. We're bringing that technology down to the 150 horsepower class. And when you say global launch, like it's going to be a pretty impressive night tonight. Like you said, there's going to be a thousand people in the theater at Milwaukee there. Absolutely. We'll have dealers from North America and distributors and dealers from around the world. Yeah, look, it's an impressive gig here. We have, uh, they have nearly 50 boats, I think, here on the water right. this weekend. Um, tell us some of the specifications of this engine. This is a 2.7 litre V6. Uh, tell right. us a little bit about the, about the inside of it. Sure. So in order to achieve the 30% more torque and the best-in-class fuel economy, we needed to incorporate the G2 thermodynamics into this engine block. So that means we had to start over and design a new block around that thermodynamics. And that's what resulted in the new 2.7 litre V6. It's a traditional V and uh, uh, with a, a very compact, uh, very narrow profile. Yeah, and I think the main point is it isn't just your old V6 is redone. Absolutely. It is from the ground up rebuilt. Exactly. That's what was necessary to achieve the, the improvements in, in torque and, and in fuel economy, as well as emission, emissions as well. Now, I noticed that when I'm on the water, they, they're a very clean install, these motor. They've got the power steering built into the motor, and there's just one tube that goes into the boat. Tell us about that power steering. It's pretty impressive on the water. Absolutely. I mean, what's one of the features with the original G2 that, that people really appreciated was, was having power steering integrated into the engine as opposed to an aftermarket system. So, you know, it's our goal to democratize power steering. We think this is a feature that everybody should have. So that's why we're bringing it down to the 150 HO. So integrated into the engine, it's a, it's a very clean installation. You've got the clean rigging, a very you know, clean transom. It doesn't take up space in the boat. There's no annoying uh, uh, motor under the helm making yep. sound. So yeah, and it's quiet, isn't it? Yes, yeah. absolutely. And, and just one touch steering. So it's uh, we also have the power steering modes, which allow the customer to tailor their power steering to their preference. Yep. Working hand in hand with that power steering is your eye trim, which is something which is, is software like built into this engine, and it's uh, it to me it's it's very smooth. It's like it's like one percent increments, and it instantly reacts to your speed and your and your trim yes. and the boat's attitude. And it, it it makes it uh, very easy to drive for anybody. Absolutely, it's like going from driving a manual transmission car to a car with an automatic transmission. Yep. You just put it in gear and then you don't have to think about it. The, the engine is automatically adjusting the trim angle to the conditions of the boat and it's, it's something, you know, set it and forget it that uh, uh, really makes the boating experience a lot easier and a lot more enjoyable. One thing I noticed at the media launch yesterday that you're very proud of is the ridiculously low emissions That's that right. the, these motors. And for me, I think the emissions, the high torque, it all works hand in hand. It seems like you're very efficiently burning every single little bit of fuel that goes in there, which means none is in the water and it all ends up, uh, you can feel it through the throttle. That, it all comes down to that combustion, the, the G2 thermodynamics, the pure power combustion. When you are efficient at converting fuel into power, you get, you get good power, you get good fuel economy, and there's not much emissions left. It all comes down to what's happening inside that cylinder. Yep. When we perfect that, everything else takes care of itself. Yep. Um, one of the other things that's pretty cool is the fact that now on your mobile phone, you can see all of your telemetry for your engine. Tell us about that. Yes, we're introducing the new Evinrude E-Link. Uh, there's a module that gets installed in the boat, and it, it basically transforms your phone or your tablet into a virtual dashboard. So now all the gauge information is, is present on your phone, but it also gives you the ability to activate functions like eye trim, the power steering modes, or the, uh, the auto winterization, one touch. Yep, that's it. Look, it's, it's fantastic technology. We've been out on the water this morning doing some head-to-head -head comparisons. It's, uh, it's, to me, it, it's all about making boating easier. Absolutely. One final question I've got is the rest of the boating industry is singing the praises of four-stroke. You guys have gone down the two-stroke line. How, how are you going to get the message out that uh, the two-stroke goes so well? I think we got to get seats in the, in, in people in the seats. Yep. You know, when you get out there and you feel, what, 30% more torque, and, and you understand that we didn't compromise on fuel economy to achieve that. We didn't compromise on emissions. And, and when, once you've experienced benefits like power steering and eye trim, 
I don't really understand why there's another choice. Yeah, that's it. Look, you can expect these motors uh, to be distributed through Tellwater in Australia, so your local Quintrex dealers or the existing Evanrude network around December in 2016. Uh, for more information, go to evanrude.com. But for me, I'm going to get back out on the water and uh, put these babies to the test. Okay, so we've got a five-year warranty. Um, it's a three and two, so basically uh, you still get your three years, uh, no servicing if you just want that three years. Um, but if you want the additional two-year bonus, you just basically come in for your maintenance schedule at year one, two and three, um, and then you get your two-year bonus warranty for a total of five. Yeah, look, G2's been you know, well accepted by the public and our dealer network loved it. There's, there's, there's no doubt about it, the performance out of that G2, but let's be honest, that market is that 150 segment 175 200 it's really strong for us it's um you know it's that five to six meter range of boat for us and that's where we really dominate in the marketplace um so there's no there's no reason we're going to start seeing some good market share with Evanrood now in australia so of course uh, we took Jason's advice and we got out on the water and we took these 150 HOs, 150, 175 and 200 horsepower, 2.7 litre G2 E-Tex out for a run and uh, you know what a beautiful location this is to do it but uh, what a great talky responsive motor and a motor where all of the automatic functions, the uh, the power steering, the eye trim, all of those functions work a treat and uh, it doesn't take you long to go from thinking you're the world's best boat trimmer to someone who's very happy trusting uh, the software based electronic trim system, this eye trim that these Evinrudes have. Um, noise wise at idle they're very similar to a four stroke uh, out of the hole, the comparative ones we had here were faster than four strokes. Um, it seems that Evinrude is really sort of paddling against the tide with uh, all the manufacturers saying four strokes is the great way to go. These guys have invested pretty heavily in the two stroke technology and uh, if you like your two strokes, I suppose they're uh, the, the place you need to be right now. But uh, for more information, of course, go to evinrude.com for all of the specs. And uh, until next time, this is Steve Morgan signing off for Fishing Monthly in Wisconsin, USA.